How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and today's video I'm going to be showing you how to extract uh, sparse firmware system images and get them into basically like a system pulse state. So hopefully you can follow along with this. You're going to use a couple different utilities and I'll link you to them all in the video description. But once you've got those, I'll show you what they are. You're going to need this image extractor zip and you're going to need this sparse converter zip. So we're going to go ahead and open them. Um, it's just make sure you extract them. So just extract the exe file. So that's one extracted and then here's the other one. Extract that one too. And now you should have these two exe files. See them? Alright, so what you're going to do is you got to get some firmware. So most of the time Motorola is the one who is doing all these sparse system images. So what you got to do is go and make it a non-spar system image and make it a normal system image. To do that, you're going to use this tool. So I'm just going to copy this. And I'm actually going to go in here and I have some firmware already downloaded. So here is the firmware zip right here. Don't ask what that device is. It's a secret. I went ahead and extracted that zip to this folder and here's all of your firmware all right here. So boot images, bootloaders. Um, scripts for flashing and recovery images and you have all these system image dash sparse chunk 0 through 11. So basically all you do is you paste this in here and, and then I like to just click on it. Uh, it's not going to let me do it that way. So we'll open a command window and do it this way. So we're going to do open command window. So to do that basically you go in the folder you're working in. You hold shift on your computer, uh, keyboard. Right click open command window here and now you have this fancy command window. So the easiest thing to do is just pull this file in here and then type in help after it. Space help. And it's going to give you basically directions on how to do this. So what you want to type in shows you right here. These are some ex uh, examples of what you can do. It's usage. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to type in sparse converter space slash decompress two there you go and then basically what you do is the best easiest way to do this is just go copy or do rename copy this just the first uh, image copy all right and hit paste so decompress space that image just the first one it'll do all of them but it needs to know the first one where to start and then space and then I just I'll just put in a system image. So you do S Y S T E M dot I M G and then hit enter. And it's going to go ahead and decompress all of these system sparse chunks into one system image, which is really important. It gets it so it's all into one. You can deal with it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use image extractor to go ahead and pull that system image and take it out so it's like a system pull and you'll see that and then you can look at all the files that these sparse chunks contain so it's almost done here's 11 and uh, 10 should be the last thing we need come on 10 11 almost there it does take a little bit it's decompressing all these files so don't be worried if it takes a little bit of time. Depending on your computer, it's going to take longer or slower. That file is like 4 gigs, that system image, so it's big, just so you guys know. At least for this device, like I said, if you can figure out what device it is. Um, all right, so we're done on here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back really quick. We have our system image file. It just got created right here. And, um, you know, what? I'll bring it out of this folder. So I'm going to do a cut. And I'm going to go back to image extractor, paste it here. It's just because it's easier to do. So that pasted. See, I paste instantly. I've got a fast computer. Open a new command window in this folder. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go, um, actually, let's see if we can double click on the image extractor. It might work. Oh, it does. So here it gives you, if you just double click on this one, it'll give you all the examples. You could also type in the same way and do help, and it would give you the examples too. So it's, this is pretty simple though, and I'll, I'll, I'll just type it out. So you can hit enter, and then open your command window back up. So we're going to type in image extractor. All right, you can even type exe or not; it really doesn't matter. Although I think I would do the capitalization 
just like the image is named, just to make sure it works right. So image extractor space, type in that uh, system image. So uh, I didn't do that, so system.img. And then what folder you wanna put all these files in. So I'm just gonna do system pull. And then hit, so you have image extractor, system image, system pull. Actually, I'm gonna do that without spaces because that's a better way to do it. So system like that, there we go. All right, and hit enter. And what that does now, you can see right up here, it just added the system pull, which is basically you're taking the system image and you're taking it out of that format or that compression and you're bringing it out so it looks just like all your files. It'd be the same way you would see it as if you did an ADB, uh, ADB pull system would be the exact same format this is gonna look at when it's done. So this is basically it. So you've gone from now sparse chunks to a system image to now system, basically a system pull. And now you'll be able to view everything, APKs, files, anything you wanna get out of that system image, you will have it. So that's done, we can close the window, and here you go. This is it, this is exactly how your system would look. Apps, bins, fonts, frameworks, it's all here. Vendor, build prop, that's everything. You guys wanna see the build prop? Here, quick sneak peek. Sneak peek, sneak peek. How fast can you read it? Oh, close it back out again. So anyway, that is how to do a system pull or a system conversion, I don't know what do you call it. Sparse trunk system image to system pull. That's the, way I would, the best way I would describe it. So there you go guys, that's gonna be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video on learning how to extract your system images and be able to view them and mess with them if you would like to. Hope you guys like it. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.